Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. A uh, quick update here. Um, there won't be any uh, let's play videos out for at least for today. Maybe tomorrow. There's a lot. It's getting very hot over, here and I'm starting to hate life because he is horrendous, and I'm British, and British people do not like the heat. Uh, even the Europeans are getting it as well. Uh, so as such, I'm going to be just uploading these tutorials as they take less time and I don't feel like dying after five seconds um, Due to the heat um, And I will be for, I'll be in the meantime working on the next video of the let's play series. So let me know um, Your thoughts on that and stuff um, Other than that, please make sure to like comment and subscribe as it really does help out being another war youtuber is quite a hard thing to be because YouTube likes things that are popular and uh, not niche and well Aurora fits that bill pretty exactly so if you can hit like hit a comment that will actually help the algorithm out get more people watching the videos and stuff like that so please do so it really does mean a lot any even a comment anything is really really important okay so in today's episode we're going to be going over power calculation and how power works in terms of energy weapons um uh and also uh stuff uh, stuff that needs it so the things that are going to need it is going to be um not shields um shields don't take anything uh the things that are going to need it is going to be the weapons uh and it's going to be anything that is 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 particularly required by that so that will be turrets turreted weapons um and that'll be uh lasers so let's go through the list rail guns go uh rail guns uh lasers um Mogans, lasers, uh, particle beams, basically any energy weapon, so carronades, um, carronades, mesons, all that kind of stuff, is all going to kind of require a certain amount. I'm not too familiar with some of the microwave stuff, but generally they're going to require a power requirement. Um, and that power requirement is sustained by a power plant. And you can create those based off of your power um, technology, and that comes along with your engine technology. So I'm in this game over here, the Steve's, this is the original Steve thing for the 1.10. Um, and I'm just going to kind of explain here really quick uh, what all the button, what it means, how to calculate the power. So there's two important things to, to know when calculating this. You have power, which is this, which says 9 to 3, and then you have rate of fire. So how this works is that... Um, the the first number is the amount of power it's going to need to to recharge and fire another shot or be ready to fire another shot the second number is going to be how much power it regenerates every time and that is affected by capacitor recharge rate so the higher the capacitor recharge rate the more power it will be able to recharge every five seconds so even though this should be done in let's say nine seconds um because of how war well is set up it's got a rate of fire 15 because the smallest increment is 5 seconds. So it's got a rate of fire of 15 because it recharges that power every 5 seconds. So uh, every 5 seconds, 3 power will be recharged into the weapon. And then that will recharge to 9 and then it will fire once again. If you have this matching, it will fire every, every increment basically, every 5 seconds. And you scale this up accordingly. So if we, if we go over to... Um, I'm sure we can find a weapon or something that he has here. Um, but like that that's just an example, right? I don't think he's got any more energy weapons. He might have a couple. Do we have a lance battery? I know we should do. Uh no, we don't particularly have anything that I can I can I can use there. Uh but yeah. Um that is just generally how it works. So every time the uh, increment goes by, so every 5 seconds you're going to recharge the second number and until that reaches the first number uh, it will not be able to fire, so once it reaches that first number it will be able to fire. This is then moved into what the rate of fire is, so that will be 15 seconds, 5 seconds, if it was 12 out of 3 that would be 18, or it will be 20 my bad, uh, it will be 25, oh, so on and so forth. And that's how to actually calculate the power. So when you look at it, that is how much power you're going to draw. You find out how much power your weapon's going to draw by designing the weapon and you know looking through that. Your total power output should only be reaching the second number. That is the biggest thing. You do not need to reach the first number. 
So if I have these two here and they're going to recharge every three seconds, um, and I have four times four, so um, it doesn't show it here, but these do stack. So if I have four of these weapon batteries, they're each going to take three power every increment. So I'm going to need a total of 12 um, power output. So over here, Steve has 24 total power output because each of his weapon batteries take 12 power per increment because it's four times four. So there's four weapon batteries uh, in each one of these. So they got a smaller range one and then the higher range one. And that is how the power works for that. So pretty simple, nothing really too out there. Just something very easy for you guys to digest. Just remaking this video so you guys can understand it. And there you go. That is how power works. And that's what you, you need to do with it. Um, make sure you got your power outputs correct. Make sure you know what you're recharging. Don't run out of power. And uh, yeah, have a good day. Uh, please don't like, comment, and subscribe. This has been a quick fire tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you next time uh, where we will be doing more tutorials more beat makes on the way and also more let's plays bye bye